Welcome back to American Latino TV. I'm Valerie and we're about to go old school on y'all. That's right. He's the co-founder of The Soul Assassins, the producer behind classic hits like Jump Around and Check Yourself, but he's mostly known for his work as part of pioneer rap group Cypress Hill. Check out what he's got in store next. Sonidos is brought to you by Chevrolet. DJs have always been the backbone of hip hop, not just playing the music at the party, but creating and producing the sound of the culture. Among the forefront of this movement is the New York born and LA based DJ Muggs. You know, we used to break dance when I was little, and a friend of mine um, had turntables in the basement. We used to mess around a little bit. But after seeing DST with Herbie Hancock, seeing Jam Master J in the early days, that really got me to want to start DJing more. You know, the more I practiced, the more I learned, the better I got. Eventually, I saved some money for some equipment. Raising the standard of hip hop in general, DJ Muggs was one of the pioneers that helped to create the influential sound of Cypress Hill, helping them become one of the most popular acts in hip hop history. When I developed the sound for Cypress, it's just being, you know, I'm very rock influenced and um, I just did things my way and whatever felt right to me. I was more going with um, the feeling and the, the emotion I was provoking. Cypress Hill is an influence in hip hop has been incredible, you know, and um, just bringing our own style, bringing a lot of the, the hard rock and roll uh, imagery and um, just being very unorthodox, taking chances, you know what I mean, and doing my own thing. Wicked, wow, happy face, you never seen me smile. So you put out records, you're getting big records, people start wanting your sound. So other artists are calling, reaching out for you. Check yourself, Ice Cube was big, um, Beastie Boys, so what you want. A lot of remixes I did, like U2, Janet Jackson, Jump Around. I don't think that record's ever gonna go away. You want to put music out that's timeless and music that's going to stand the test of time. That's the true test of your music. Redirecting his career and passion over 25 years in the business through a collective group of pioneers in the world of hip hop, fashion, and art titled The Soul Assassins, Muggs maintains his finger at the pulse of the hip hop generation that persistently permeates today's mainstream and underground culture. The Soul Assassins is a crew, it's, it's more like a brotherhood. We had a rap group out. All of our artistic friends and, and everybody around us, our community, were not just rappers. So we started the Soul Assassins as something to help us artistically, you know, with members like Mr. Cartoon now, Esteban, Block, Alchemist, the whole Cypress Hill crew. Paul Rosenberg, Eminem's manager, is a good friend of mine, and he started Shade 45, which is Eminem's station. And he's like, hey, you guys want to bring Soul Assassin's radio on Shade 45? So, you know, we do our show every week. Then I brought um, Mr. Chalk from the Beat Junkies to co-host the show with me. Good to see you, brother. That's right, homie. The show's big. It's a platform for um, local artists, and um, in our community, um, there isn't a lot of shows that go out to the whole United States. I had to bring it to the people, homie. Yeah. We're an American brand, Soul Assassins, you know. It's all about expression, man, you know, and helping each other and helping us achieve goals and coming out there and just inspiring, you know. Now, if you weren't paying attention, you're definitely not going to get the answer to today's American Latino trivia, but hey, just guess. We asked you the following question. Before Cypress Hill became Cypress Hill, they were called DVX. Which influential rapper was an original member of DVX? Was it A, Kid Frost, B, Mellow Man Ace, or C, Fat Joe? Let's hear from the man himself. The DVX was our first rap group and it stood for devastating vocal excellence. It was my brother Send Dog of Cypress Hill, DJ Julio G, DJ Muggs. I recruited Be Real when he was a 16 year old break dancer and that was a tight knit unit. All right, so 
I think we covered all of our bases today. We touched a little on music with DJ Muggs, a bit on community with Mr. De La Hoya, who's holding no punches, and we even threw some science your way. And no, I'm not talking about Chewy. So that concludes today's show. If you want to learn more about any one of the stories featured in this episode or any other episode, visit AmericanLatino.tv. Until next time, adios, bye.